Hey again guys, so for this part of the tutorial, we'll be working on the checkout page. Uh, so the checkout page is basically the page that is um, going to be given or shown to our potential customers when they are checking out with our store. So basically the information that we require as store owners to make sure that the package will be sent to the right customer at the right location and everything else in between. So let's quickly go on to the checkout page. Again, the checkout page, you won't find it anywhere on the home page of, of your Shopify backend. So that means again, you will have to click on settings. So when you click on settings, you're going to get again, this main menu section for settings, if you may, and we're going to directly go to checkout and we're going to click on checkout. So this page, uh, this is the page that we're going to get when we click on checkout. And again, I want to repeat this. This is actually the information that our store is going to ask the customer when they're checking out of our store, checking out meaning purchasing. This is the information that we will require to make sure that we send that package to the right place, or in this case, suppliers send that package to the right place. So, Again, there's really absolutely nothing to look at here or to understand. Um, in my opinion, it's mainly just common sense. This is uh, what we're gonna see when we click on the uh, checkout page. And again, this for me is mainly based off of common sense. So what I want you guys to understand is that before you are a store owner, you are a customer. And as a customer, you already know what information a store owner would need to make sure that your packages reaches you as a customer. So that is what we're gonna do here. So try to read through it and make sure that you understand what is being asked and make the necessary changes. So again, the customer contact method that we're looking for is gonna be either phone number or email, obviously. So we're not gonna change that to only email or anything. So we're gonna leave that exactly like that. And then you're gonna see that they're saying that customers will be able to download the app um, in order for them to track their uh, 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 package. So imagine if you were the one that is supposed to download an app on your phone to track a package that you purchased somewhere. That is crazy ridiculous for me. So we don't want to do stuff like that. So we're gonna uncheck this box. And then we're gonna move on to the customer information that is required on our uh, uh, checkout page. Again, you'll see that it says that require first and last name. That is exactly what we want. We don't only want to require the last name. Most of the time when you are working on your checkout page, you'll see that it will be on the first option. We do not want that. We want the second option when it comes to the full name. And then for the company name, we want to have it on optional, not on don't include guys. We want to make sure that it's on optional. Although Shopify says it's recommended that you don't include it, but you have to remember that 75% of South Africa is rural at the end of the day. And most people, especially people that actually work, they want to receive their packages at work because it's easier for the um, it's easier for the courier companies to find them and deliver the package at the right location. So make this optional. So when you go down again, you'll see that we have address line two. We want to make that uh, make sure that it's optional. And then again, this one is very important. Uh, it's the shipping address phone number. So we want to make sure that it is required. Again, um, when you are working on a new Shopify store, you'll see it will be on optional or don't include we want to make sure that it's required so that our customer is uh, our, our customers contact details are visible and so that the courier companies can call them when they reach their destination um, we want to go down as well I want to go down again and then you'll see that we have marketing option. Uh, we want to make sure that we select email and then we want to make sure that it's pre-selected. So a customer will deselect it if they don't want it, but we want to make sure that it's pre-selected. This is very important if we want to do email marketing to customers that have purchased with us previously. I would also recommend SMS marketing because again, um, um, some people don't open their emails as much, but they will always open texts and SMSs 
um, on their phone almost immediately. So you want to make sure that is also checked. Um, and then uh, last but not least, we'll have tipping. So tipping, we if you want tips on your store, you can select that. And again, there's absolutely nothing else to look at outside of that. And then you'll click on save. And then you are basically done with your checkout page. There's nothing else to look at. This is going to be the information that your customer is asked when they are checking out with your store.